Our name and phone inputs are in a pretty good spot right now, but we've still done absolutely no work whatsoever on the picker widget that is supposed to exist right here. So the picker widget, remember its goal is to show a list of the days of the week to the user so they can pick one of those days for this employee to work on. We're going to make use of a React Native primitive for this picker. It is called the picker component. Like, you know, okay, it has a pretty reasonable name. Uh, let's check out the documentation on it. So I'm over here at the React Native documentation. And on the left-hand side, I'm gonna scroll down until I find picker. And I want specifically to use the picker and not picker iOS. Picker iOS is obviously specifically for iOS. This picker one will work well on either iOS or Android. So definitely what we want. So here's a very simple example of the picker on the screen. The API is really not too bad. We will import the picker component from React Native. We will give it the currently selected value. So look at, you know, they're using the same pattern as us. They're making what is called a controlled component, which is one in which we tell it what its value should be. And then for each option in here as well, we will add in a picker.item component with a label and a value that matches up to it. Notice that label and value are separated out as two separate things. This is in case maybe you've got a like pretty English version of a label and then maybe a internally meaningful but not really user-friendly value that you want to set as well. So maybe if uh, you have a label of JavaScript, this is a fantastic example right here, the external label that the user sees is JavaScript, but the internal value that your application is going to use is going to be JS. Great example right there. So let's implement this picker component inside our application. I'm at my employee create form. The first thing we're gonna have to do is, employ is import the picker from React Native. So at the top, we will add in import picker from React Native. And then I can scroll down to my unused card section. Here it is right here. And I'll add in my picker. We'll start first with the picker options. So I need seven of these things. I need a label and I need a value as well. So I'm going to just kind of put one empty one right here first. And then I, since I know that I need seven, one more. And now here comes the fun part. Monday, well here, let's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just do this one by one. Uh, we're going to use a label and value of the same exact thing. We'll make it the property ca properly capitalized uh, value of the day of the week. So for us, label of capital M Monday, value of capital M Monday as well. All right, now here's where the fancy part's gonna come in. <laughs> this is why I just stuttered there for a second. I'm just gonna use multi-select for the rest of these. Uh, if you are using Atom or Sublime, just in case you're curious, you can highlight some little small portion of text right here and then press Command D if you are on um, a Mac to multi-select these two. That'll give you the multiple cursors and I can do like Tuesday and then repeat for Wednesday. You get the idea. Saturday, Sunday. This would definitely not be a horrible place to do a little bit of iteration as well to build up this list of picker items. If you wanna make an array of days of the week and then map over it and produce one picker item for each day of the week, go for it. That is a fantastic choice as well. Okay, so that is our picker options. Now we need to make sure that we declare the selected value and an on value change as well. So although the picker API or using declaring the picker is a little bit different as far as setting the value, it is completely identical as the inputs. So our selected value will be this.props.shift. We do not yet have a shift. It is only when our form starts up that we're going to get this shift value of state. So then on value change, this is what's going to be called whenever the picker's value changes. It'll be called with the value out of the option that was selected. And for us that, you know, for us it's really the day. So I'm just gonna call it day right here. Then we'll call this.props.employeeUpdate. So remember we're using one action creator to handle all the different values that we're going to have. 
we'll give it a prop of shift and a value of day. And you know what, I, I don't know why I picked day here. Let's go with value as well, just so we can keep the same pattern as what we used on the inputs as well. So I'm gonna change the argument to value, and then we can shorten down the rest of the statement to just value as well. So value, here's my prop is shift with a value of value. Okay, so this sounds good. Let's do a quick refresh and see what it looks like. So we'll say test, test.com, login with password, and huh, how interesting. Here's my employee create form. It looks like there's definitely some height here, but I don't actually see the picker at all. So this is one of those fantastic little gotchas in the world of React Native. And there sure are a lot of them, huh? That's why uh, I'm here to help you out. That's my job. So by default, the picker renders with a zero width set to it. To make sure that it expands to fill all the area available to it, we have to set, or we have to tell it essentially to expand to fill all that area. Now remember how we tell a component to expand to fill all the avail available area. We pass it a style, sorry, style of flex one, like so. So we pass in flex one, that tells it, hey, please expand to fill all the area available to you. So now I can sign in again. Go to the add form and boom, there's my picker. And so it looks just like the normal uh, iOS picker that you would expect to see. One thing that you might find interesting, I've still got my Android emulator open over here as well. So I'm gonna do a quick refresh on it and then I will sign in. Now I'll go to the add form. And you'll notice that on here, the picker still displays, but is using the Android implementation of the picker. So it definitely looks a little bit different. It doesn't have the same kind of scrolly thing here that you would expect to see on iOS. So there's just a difference between the two phones. Totally fine to see this on Android, and you know it still works the exact same way. I can pick just one option here, whereas on iOS, I use the little slider to pick the one that I want. Okay, so this looks good. Let's continue in the next section.